Hi guys, this is a extra tutorial. I'll talk again about the hood, but this time I will show you how to make another type of hood. A hood with a bar. Yes, as you catch the item, the bar will be growing up. This bar right here. A bar. You grow up every time you catch an experience orb. So I will teach you how to make some orbs too. And this one I will use it for the life the mana and the stamina he will be the experience so we will create to a bar okay just wait a second um, orbs I've made here four orbs one orb for the experience the zero one is for the 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 life the one is for the mana the two is for the stamina the three image is for the the experience so let's go to the objects and let's create an OBJ for the orb. I don't want the orb to to I don't want to make four stances for the orb. So I will make a random creation for her. So I'll put here. I will create a variable type equals. We have four images in this orbs here. So I'll put choose one, two, three, and four. No, let me put zero. I want zero just to don't get confused now if type is equal to one oh, I forgot the zero okay so remember the zero is the life image index equals zero let's copy it and put for the other one 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 two and two three and three very good so when it is created it will have a handle image let's make a step event for it i don't want the image to have animation and uh, what more we can do um i guess this is all of him let's make a collision with the player and I'll put here if type equals zero that is the life I will put here another restriction for catching the life we can only catch more life if we are hurted so I will put 100 points of life this time so we can only catch life we if you not with the heart the, the life food okay what's going to happen global life plus five no plus one very good let's make it for the other one type one is mana type two I made for stamina And this right here will be another variable that I'll make for the experience. I'll call global XP. Okay, if try type equals three. Very good now. So what do we do now? Let's go to the object global in the draw. Let's put another code here. That will be our status. And let's draw the sprites of the the status box right here okay I'll just copy her name in the sub image don't put any value now in the viewing I want her in the left top of the screen so I'll not put any value now but I don't want her to touch the screen so I will put I don't know two of distance of the screen and let me check a thing here the first one is life the second one is mana and the third one is stamina you got it keep a look in the coordinates right here you can see in the bottom of the screen to see where you're going to put the the tests 
the councils of the life in the, the man and the stamina. I will just copy these coordinates and here I'll put more 15, here I'll put more 6 and in the string I'll put global life I go and do this for the mana and the stamina so we've done for the, the oh I will get some changes in the the, the font growl set V line FA center row set FA center. I want this one in the center and the scale. Well, I guess we're going to let's use this function here to change the the scale of our of our test I'll put 0 0.5, 0 0.5 and 1 I'll do the same for the others this 0 0.5 here is the X scale, this one the Y scale and this is the alpha of the image We've done with this right now and now let's work on that number here so I want you to go to the stats box copy it and pass it in the sprite of the bar okay so I want you to copy this part right here because that will be the part with the bar will show up like this okay and make a bar in the same place that you removed it and let this one right here okay so what do you have to do now we have here some pixels of distance in the screen I want you to remove these pixels this way go to transform and this resize here to resize the window I will remove in the right three pixels here and in the vertical we have seven pixels I'll put in the right here just make it touch the screen very good now we're going to put some animation I want the maximum value of the experience to be 100 so I'll make a translation sequence and put 100 frames in the vertical what I'm going to do is put the vertical pixels numbers of the screen they are 32 so this will be translated 32 pixels down like this you can see in the animation screen here and I will add the reverse to look like it's growing up and I will save it okay I've just saved now no I forgot we have to give back the pixels that remove it just like this let me check if it's all okay now we're not okay why because here you have two pixels of distance remember in the beginning there were three pixels so I give one more pixels for every every sprite here every image so go to shift and give here one more pixel now we've done save it this is saved it now let's go to the stats box animation and overlay and open this bar 100 okay now you can see the animation here the bar is growing up very beautiful at the moment so let's go to the to the global again I have here not a variable that I call it global XP as I say to you as I told you so in this number right here we're going to put 
global XP. Why? Because that's the number of the the experience we have. And if you remember, the zero image here is the box empty. So when we have zero of experience, this global XP will be zero. So this image will be the zero image. So that will be shown the empty box. Okay, very good now. We can put the orbs. I'll put a lot of orbs. You can make the player just attract the orbs. So let's put another variable in the orb here. Move equals zero. Step in the step event. If distance, you choose the distance you want to the player for absorb the orb. Moves goes to one. I'll put here smaller or equals, don't know, eight, ten. I guess ten is okay. Move will be changed to one. And if move equals one, move towards point, that point will be player X, the player Y, and the speed will I'll put three nothing too fast mm, let me check here it is all good now and I'll make it the enemy drop some orbs too when he's dead let me find where the enemy is dying okay in the hurt engine of the enemy that we made before you can see when his life is smaller or equals to zero he will die you'll get destroyed I will put some more thing here. I will put an instance create the same X, the same Y, the OBJ orb. Now he can drop the orb when he's dead. We can test it now. I'm saving it. You guys can see the orb is following us. <laughs> That's pretty fun. But I forgot to destroy the orb. Oh hell. Sorry for that. Let's go back to the orb. Collision with player. And don't put it inside these codes here. Put outside. We want the, the orb to be destroyed anyway when it touches the player. Okay, now we, we've done here really done when we get close to the orbs we observe it you can see the number in the top left of the screen are a little distortion have a little distortion that's because we play in a in a very small scale that will ever happens okay if you make your game and want to put small numbers like this just make a bigger scale for your game all right let me destroy it here get some hurt you can see the number right there getting not 96 95 so I will catch some orbs of life you can see I get more life and let's kill this enemy oh very hard enemy whoa okay he's dead now you can see when we catch to the the, the experience orbs the bar grow up as you can see there so that's a very perfect engine for you in your RPG gaming hope you guys enjoy it and see you next video